January 1933, out of the ashes of a global depression, Nazi leader Adolf Hitler clinches an iron grip on the German Republic. The dangerous new Fuhrer brazenly defies World War I disarmament orders and rapidly begins mobilizing German forces. Across the Channel, the British Air Force relies on proven technology, biplanes. But these planes have one major disadvantage, speed. Biplane design was just what pilots wanted in World War I. It was maneuverable. You could tuck and turn, but the biplanes of World War I weren't very fast. Advanced engines now allow planes to fly at groundbreaking speeds. But while biplanes are stable and maneuverable, they're limited to how fast they can fly. When a biplane reaches over 200 miles per hour, its double set of wings causes drag and makes the plane unstable. In Germany, the Luftwaffe soon realized a single set of wings, or monoplane, creates the balance between stability and speed. The Germans' bombers are built around new, fast engines that can easily outpower the RAF's aging biplanes. A modern war looms in Europe. The British must refuel their strapped economy and rebuild their air force with a new air fleet. At Hawker Aircraft, aeronautical expert Sidney Cam has a cost-effective solution. Cam turns to his trusted Hawker Fury biplane and gives it an innovative makeover. He retains the wooden framing and fabric fuselage of his Fury, but replaces its double set of wings with a single set. He encloses the cockpit, then widens and retracts the landing gear. The result is a halfway house between the old and the new, perfect for a war on limited resources. The Hawker Hurricane was largely constructed from a mixture of wood and fabric. This is known as conventional aircraft construction. And at the time, it meant that the airplane was much faster to build, as well as much easier to repair. This meant that Hurricanes were able to be repaired by their ground crews when aircraft like the Spitfire were being written off for similar battle damage. It also meant that the Hurricane could be produced in quantity much faster because the infrastructure to build this type of aircraft fuselage was well and truly in place in England, whereas all metal aircraft fuselages were a relatively new advancement. Inside its adaptable frame is the Hurricane's greatest asset, the Rolls-Royce Merlin engine. With the Merlin engine, the Hawker Hurricane became the first monoplane fighter to go faster than 300 miles per hour. It was the first of the fighters to go into production. That meant that by late 1939, the RAF had 600 Hurricanes in the inventory. That would turn out to be a crucial margin. In 1937, the RAF incorporates the fast, easy-to-produce hurricane into service. 